And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved on the road to Frozen Factory. Well, let's see. This is finally done. So let's go see what we can do about our minecart system. And we're just about to lose an attack. We've got bosses coming in. Just tons of them. This is out of power or running out of power very quickly. More bosses coming in this way. There's a lot of loot over there, but there are worms. I already died once, so we're just getting attacked on all sides right now. So let's see if we have to unlock these here. I'm guessing we're probably going to have to. So let's see. There it is. Turbo rail might as well. Buffer we're going to need. Full gate and empty gate. And we're going to come over here and we're going to see what we need to build these. Okay, well, we've got plenty plenty of resources. Um, let's build. Your base is under attack. Okay, we're going to need nickel based PCBs. So I want to build a couple of those. There's some nickel plate for more minecarts when eventually when I do that. Um, so buffers. Uh, we could do another track straight just to make a whole bunch of these. But let's start with 14. And we'll do, uh, let's see. Seven of each, full and empty. As soon as these get, as soon as I get some headway on these here, I could have split, split these out to make a few more at a time. There it goes. The rapture of bugs. Okay, empty gate, I can make just one so let's see if I have anything over here my poor CPH has just been beaten up so much do I not have space I don't okay which means I have too many bug parts on me A lot of bug parts on me. Yeah, I was trying to collect them over in the corner that I'm working on right now. And worms got me. Okay, now that we have those, I'm going to put them down in my... So we have an empty gate. And we have a full gate somewhere. Uh, that's the buffer. I don't need the buffer. Buffers are good for uh, dead ends. Oops. Right. So I want to do the empty gates first. So I want to come over here to titanium. And I want to come this way. So if you look at an empty gate, you can see the arrows, how they point. This one points that way. This red arrow points this way. If you hit H on it, uh, you can see Minecarts following the red arrow will turn around unless empty. So that is key. Minecarts going in this direction will turn around unless they're empty. And that is what we want. I want one of those right here whenever I can get it. So let all these pass and break in place. So these should turn around. Well, oh rotate that so he should turn around so now I want to do the same thing over here okay my carts there we go now with those two empty gates uh, unless they're empty they'll stay in this area ready to unload now I want the full gates to do the same thing only for this side 
So once all those full once all those full mine carts pass through here, we should have um, plenty of space to be able to work. Because as you can see, they're filling up and they're bouncing back. So with these, the same situation applies. Mine carts following the red arrow will turn around unless full. So when they're empty, they will bounce. They're going to be bouncing around in this section. Um, should we keep them? I don't want to keep them all along this whole thing. I think keeping them in this section will be sufficient. So we will put them right there. Okay, so these, you know, will be used. The first, the first mine carts that come this direction will fill up all of these. And the ones that pass by will continue on and bounce around in the back there uh, until they are ready to go. I want to do the same thing to nickel. And let's uh, bide our time here. There we go. The full gate is very awesome. There we go. Now I need two more empty gates and that will round out all of the mine carts for those two materials anyway. Probably gonna do the same thing to gold. So let's see, minecart empty gate. Let's make one more of each. That way we use everything. So now I want a empty gate. Right, that is what that is, an empty gate. So these are gonna go on just the inside of here. So the green arrow, they let them pass by, no problem. But the empty gate will bump them back unless they're empty. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And now they should be starting to bounce back and concentrate along this line, ready to unload. That way they're not doing a full circuit all the way around in order to unload. They're gonna stay in this area which will really optimize the process of getting those ores uh, where we want them. So now that we are good to go there, as you can see, I rounded out titanium, so we've got plenty of titanium to go. Now I need to integrate it back into where I need it. So this doesn't need any titanium in here. Where I needed it the most was the machine block system and from what I remember machine blocks were iron I think it was iron and nickel no it was nickel and titanium that went into those machine blocks so not it wasn't the alloy that is that is the machine block plus gold. I'm talking about the hardened. So the hardened was, yep, nickel and titanium. So with, with that in mind, gold is way over here, but that's going to be overhauled here soon. Um, I'm going to be adding the same system to this and being an adding a huge smelting operation over here for gold because we are going to use a lot of gold it may not seem like it right now but we are going to use a crap ton of gold when missiles come into play so our nickel and titanium is already over here and that is good so we can actually build uh, a couple uh, systems to support that um, where do I want to put it? I kind of want to grow out this direction a little. 
I'm getting a pretty cramped over there, and I'm I'm not wanting to get too cramped. Uh, so I think we're gonna have a we're gonna have a system over here for alloy blocks. That's one, two, three, four, yep. It's getting a little it's getting a little laggy. My base is getting pretty complicated here. Okay, I wanna put some lights up here, color them, and then copy and paste them. That way we get a little bit of extra light in places. So this is where my advanced machine block assembler is going to go. How do I want to handle this? I'm going to need two zipper merges. So I'm going to have two of these assemblers. So I'm going to need two. No, I don't, I don't necessarily need two zipper merges. I just need two blocks on one on one uh, on one hopper, so I need another forced in, or uh, induction charger. Which uh, I have all my one, two, three, four, five, and that filled me up. So, what can I get rid of? I can get rid of these. So, induction charger. Crafting. Not sure what the craft time is on this, but I think it's pretty fast. So, if I have a hopper, say right here, I'd be able to put the induction charger, whichever, or the hardened block assembler, here and here, and then input the nickel and titanium that uh, did I pick up I don't think I picked up this zipper merge because I need a zipper merge just to ensure that everything is separated right I think I put that in my chest in here yep I think he added a faster zipper merge but I'm not sure I know there's a three-in-one in here I don't really have a use for that right now. And let's see, we're gonna have to start missiles soon. Yeah, I'm not seeing it there. Improved storage, advanced storage. Oh, look at that, frozen factory expansion. Awesome. So advanced crystal dynamics. I doubt any of these. Yeah, overclocker. I'm going to need that to start making overclock crystal. That's pretty expensive. I definitely want one of I definitely want ultimate power grid, which will give me the Mark 5 battery and the solar panels, the great solar panels. So much research yet to do. Missile defense. I'm going to need that one as well. So I'm not sure where the faster zipper merge might be, um, but I heard that there's one in there. So if I have the zipper merge right there, and a pipe in there, and a pipe in there, hopefully that'll be fast enough to keep these going uh, full blast on either side. 
And I'm gonna set that to remove only. Just so it doesn't put them in there. So there's two. And I think I can just add titanium like this. But nickel, I'm going to need some more pipes. And now that pipes are a little bit more expensive, how many of these can I make? Transport pipes. I'll actually be able to make a lot of these. Okay. So... Nickel, I'm going to pull off of this side. So I need up to about here. And then this one, I'm so happy that we can super build conveyors now. That is so handy. All right. 15 power per second, 15 power per second. So I don't need a whole lot of power for this, but I think for the next stages, we're gonna be using a lot of power. So I actually want to expand this this way. This is gonna to have to be expanded this way anyway, because this is where our OET charging setup is gonna go. That's why I'm clearing this out. This is where our OET is gonna go. So this is gonna merge right into the, sy the system to charge the OET. So we're just going to add, we're going to skip three, and then skip one, just like that. So now we can add a bunch more onto there, and just uh, finish this off. And one more. Got to make sure I stand around and pick up all the drops, otherwise it'll just go into my Falcor system. I don't really want that. Okay, you come back this way. You're going to go down. And... This is going to come in like this. And this will be a turntable. This is going to be a hopper here. This is going to go in. And I need a couple more things before I can kick that off to give me some more power along that line to push into my base. So I need some more logistics hoppers. I'm gonna build some more conveyor belts. Pipes I've got plenty of. Hoppers I've got plenty of. I think I can make another jet turbine. And I need 36 of these. There. The only thing I'm really missing is a whole lot of uh, energy transfer, but can't really do much about that. So obviously this will be remove only. This will be add only. That's add only, right? Yep. Oh, I didn't make the turntable. Crap, do I have any on me? I don't. Oh well. Don't really have time to really, you know, push the system very much. I will be able to build this though. There we go. Another turbine ready to go. Sweet, sweet, sweetness. I just need that turntable and we're good to go. 
So I'll finish off that uh, alloy block and stuff next episode, um, or in between episodes. I really don't uh, don't need to show too much of that. Mm, kind of done it all before, so there's really nothing new about that process. Just move it, put some power in, and hope for the best, I guess. Uh, turntable. There it is. And kicked it off. So this I am able to pull power right off of that. And I'm going to push it right down into this thing. I think that's good. It's like that. And there we go. That's uh, 30 power per second draw, and that is able to do 40, so it's perfect. And there we go. Not sure if it's good enough. They actually make them really fast. Interesting. But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.